We genetically engineer pigs here at the university, both for agriculture and for human health. There's a lot of incentive and a lot of resources available to develop the technology and develop these pigs so that we can answer important questions about human health. We're working on diabetes, we're working on heart disease, we're working on phenylketonuria, we're working on intestinal polyps, the list goes on and on. We really want to serve as a community resource so that anyone who has interest in tackling a disease and having issues with conventional laboratory animal model, we would want them to come here and try or work with our swine models so that we can develop the novel cure. The NSRC is the National Swine Resource and Research Center. We're a core facility for NIH, National Institutes of Health funded investigators from around the country. They come to us with their best ideas on which genetic modifications should be made in pigs to replicate uh, human genetic disease, and we make those models. We want to be able to use those pigs to come up with treatments and therapies and to go in invasively monitor development and progression of disease in a way that you can't do with a human. There's a lot of people who have great ideas but do not have access to the pigs or do not have access to the skills needed to genetically modify pigs. If there's a gene that can be modified or edited to create a biomedical model, we can typically get that done. It's the only animal facility that's funded by NIH. We have the largest infrastructure to support any activities using swine. Uh, many places will handle only one model or two models. However, we deal with numerous number of pig models that we utilize for different purposes. Investigators contact the NSRC for a variety of reasons, different disease models, biomedical models. They, they try to find an animal that's going to model the human disease. Sometimes mice do not provide the physiology that is similar enough to humans like a pig would. A great example is cystic fibrosis. But you can take the same mutation that occurs in humans and put it in mice and study mice, but they don't end up getting any of the symptoms of cystic fibrosis. We can take the mutation that occurs in humans and put it into pigs, and they get all the symptoms that are associated with cystic fibrosis. Therefore, the physician scientists can come up with treatments and cures that otherwise couldn't be discovered. Uh, for xenotransplantation, we work with experts at Emory and Mayo and Columbia and Harvard. So xenotransplantation is when you take an organ tissue or cell and transfer it from one species to another. In this case, we're referring to pig organs into humans. Mizzou has really led the way in many respects for xenotransplantation because for the organ not to be rejected, there's a specific mutation that we need to put into the pig. That genetic mutation was developed here at the University of Missouri. We had a collaborator in South Carolina, partial heart transplant. We heard the news late last year of baby Owen, who got his uh, valves replaced, human to human, but they developed the technology using our pigs. The NSRC is unique in that it is the only NIH-funded center in the United States that provides the service of providing pigs and, and anything pig-related to investigators on a, on a discounted budget. The NIH provides a budget to us to cover salaries and things like that so that we can provide affordable pigs to those investigators. So these models are provided to investigators to sometimes test a new medicine or a new technique that the investigators can, can try out on a pig or perfect in a pig before those methods are used in humans. Those immunodeficient pig models, we use them to transplant uh, human stem cells or human uh, designed human tissues, we call them organoids. Those can be used to test safety and efficacy of stem cell treatments, or we can use those to uh, model human organ development. We are currently working on to establish a system where we can uh, grow human tissue and then that animal model itself will be uh, used to test drugs for its toxicology, uh, effectiveness. Really want to uh, develop this technology and by working with others we want to change human life and we want to change uh, more specific quality of life. The University of Missouri is actually uniquely positioned for this. We have some expertise in genetic engineering. We have expertise in pig physiology. We have a little bit of infrastructure here, and we're building on that. But we've been able to hire in new people that expand our capabilities, and we're very excited about continuing to expand that here at the University of Missouri. We have the resources, we have the infrastructure, 
we're able to make some changes that, that will affect people's lives. There's a passion for the pigs, there's a passion for positive outcomes. We want each of those pigs to result in a positive impact on human lives, which it does. And so it's very exciting to see those results. You know, it's, it's been years of, of work and now we're starting to see those, those impact on human lives. All of the pigs that we've created and used in the past have, have culminated into some of these positive outcomes. Hopefully uh, people understand that there is a, a public resource, uh, NSRC can generate pig models, can work with you to uh, test those models, and really working together to develop a cure, and we're here to provide that support.